Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the founder and CEO of Game On Entertainment Technologies, Matt Bailey. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm good, Rich. I'm excited to be here for the first time. I'm excited to have you on the show. You guys had some big news today, and I want to talk a little bit about your company. Matt, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Game On Entertainment Technologies. So a little about me first. Uh, my background is from Australia, originally moved to New York uh, eight years ago, just wanted to work in the major leagues. I worked in the broadcast world in Australia, ended up working for the Brooklyn Nets in Barclays Center for a long time in, in New York, uh, then started Game On a few years ago. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm actually down in Miami, but uh, started Game On a few years ago. Uh, and what we wanted to do is, uh, is solve a problem. We realized that People aren't consuming content like they used to. And when I say content, I mean TV, uh, so for, on broadcasters, but also leagues, teams, TV networks, sports books. People aren't consuming the content that they're putting out like they're used to. And they're becoming the never screen. In some cases with millennial and Gen Z, they're becoming the, the never screen. Uh, not just the second screen, which is a big problem, not only for the TV networks, but for the sports that are on those networks, for the studios that are putting content on those networks, for the sports books who are creating markets around those sports. It's a massive, massive problem that flows onto all of these different content providers. So we're helping them become not the never screen by providing game technologies, B2B white labeled game technologies, things like prediction games, fantasy games that plug into their mobile app, their TV app, their website. But there's no game on experience, so it's completely white labeled. We're just a product and technology partner behind the scenes, building these experiences and plugging them into their website, to, their website or mobile apps to make their content more engaging, social, and ultimately more monetizable. That sounds fantastic. Can you tell us more about some of the milestones that Game On Entertainment Technologies hit this year? And what are some of the things shareholders have to look forward to in 2022? Yeah, so we're early. So that's one of the big, big value props here for shareholders is that this is the first inning and it's, and it's a real opportunity to participate in the upside. We just went public in June. Uh, in March, before that, we raised a pre-IPO private placement. It was $5.8 million, uh, very little institutional, uh, but that was kind of the, the funding that enabled us to grow from three to 20 full time. So we've really focused on getting the dream team on board that will execute. Uh, you know my background, but our chief product officer before us uh, built, literally conceived and built NBA Top Shot at Dapper Labs. It was his brainchild. Wow. Uh, and if you don't know NBA Top Shot, which I'm sure most people do, uh, but they're the, one of the biggest NFT uh, products right now. They're nearing a billion dollars in, in sales. Wow. Before that, he built the FIFA game at EA Sports for 10 years. Uh, oh. so, the, so he's literally the best product person in the world that we could have on our product. Our VP wow. of partnerships comes from Madison Square Garden, where he sold against the, the Knicks, the Rangers, and, all, and the arena and all of the other properties there. Our chairman, Jay Moses, built the original Grand Theft Auto back in the day. Uh, and still today, he's on the board of Take-Two Interactive, one of the biggest public gaming companies in the world. So wow. we really focused on team uh, over the last six months. And now we're starting to see the, the fruits of that labor come to life. We're starting to see deals closing. Uh, which will mean revenue uh, not too far away as well. So that's what we've been focusing on over, over the last six months since we, since we went public. Now you touched a, bit, a little bit on the management, but could you tell us a little bit more about the management at Game On Entertainment Technologies and especially their past successes in the public markets? Yeah, so the, the first one would be, would be Jay Moses. Um, you know, he's on the board of, of Take-Two Interactive, which is incredibly valuable um you know he's he's the person who came on board when we were, were diligencing the the opportunity of going public in canada and he said you should do this but i'm going to be right by your side with you driving driving the business with you and helping you make decisions and and looking after our shareholders uh, having our shareholders best interest at heart so jay is an incredible person not only for the company but also for me as a public market ceo uh, he's incredible so he's the, the biggest piece Victory Square Technologies are uh, our biggest shareholder uh, and our parent company, so to speak. 
They're also a public company. They have a, uh, a, a business model that focuses on a portfolio. So they have over 20 companies in their portfolio, uh, all of which are starting to go public. So they have very strong Canadian market experiences and we lean on them and talk to them every single day, you know, be it for raising money from investors or service providers or reporting or whatever we need to lean on them for. They are there as our public market um, partner, so to speak. They're awesome. Uh, Santi, who I mentioned, our chief product officer, comes from EA Sports, where you know, they, they are a very successful public company. So that, that was one of the biggest things. Once we raised that money, we decided to grow the team with relevant people and experience who were going to make sure that we, that we win. Uh, when, we, you know, when, when people ask about you know, patents and you know, all these things that are going to protect us and, and create a moat, I talk about you know the patents. We have a, we have two two patent pendings, but our biggest unfair advantage and the reason why we're going to win is because of the people. We're people first. Those people, the, the guys that I just mentioned, are the reason why shareholders should invest because we're the right people to do what we're doing. Now you recently announced, and this is huge news, that you partnered with ex NBA superstar champion Kevin Garnett to evaluate and elevate women's sports. Can you tell us what this means for the company and how it will help grow the brand? Yeah, so it's great from a PR standpoint. Obviously, partnering with someone like Kevin is, is amazing. Uh, but, you know, the, the, biggest, the biggest exciting thing about this is just another partner for us, another revenue generating partner. Other partners we've worked with or we're working with are NBC Universal and Bravo. We did the official prediction game for the Real Housewives. We're working with, with MX Player in India. They're the biggest streaming platform in India. A billion downloads with a B, which is, which is just crazy. We're doing all of their cricket prediction games. That's gone so well that they're adding three more games to our scope of work for tennis, soccer, and kabaddi, which is a, tr a traditional Indian sport. And this is just another one, Kevin Garnett's uh, Gaming Society. We're partnering with them to create prediction games around women's sports and really democratize fan engagement around women's leagues. Uh, you know, no one's doing this. Uh, we want to play a role in, in amplifying women's sports. So uh, that's going to be really exciting to roll out in, in Q1 around March Madness at the end of Q1 around the women's tournament. Um, and they, you know, just like every other partner, they pay us a license fee and we participate in generating revenue share off the, on the, on the back end as well. So that's our business model and it's the same for, for gaming society, but that's an exciting partnership. I'm excited to see this all evolve and unfold. And if Game On Entertainment Tech were to compare itself to its competitors in this sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? So the, the first part is the team. We're really an unmatched team of people who are really well suited to solve the problem we're trying to solve. Second of all, most of our competitors in the market are simply giving a set of tools, like a, a, an SDK, uh, a set of tech, tech tools for their, for their partners to go and build prediction games. Uh, what, we don't do that. We actually bring the product to life from start to finish. We're an end-to-end -end solution because our, the, the customers we're selling to, don't, they don't have time to build games. They don't want to build games. They're focusing on what they're great at, which is content or which is, you know, sports books are creating odds. Uh, NFT collectibles are focusing on the community and creating those collectibles. We come in and be the gamification partner, the game partner from end to end, uh, which is a big, big differentiator. They don't need, our partners don't need to have a team of engineers working on this. They don't need to have, you know, anyone babysitting this technology. We're bringing it to life from start to finish, which is a big, big differentiator and selling point when we're out there in the market. Can you go through the capital structure? We've got investors from all over the world in the three major markets, Canada, the United States, and Germany in the stock market. And they really like to understand the fundamentals. So we start with the capital structure of Game On Entertainment Technologies. So can you break down the capital structure for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional and retail investors? Yeah, so we, uh, we have 63 million shares outstanding right now. And 50% are insider owned. So we're wow. very, we're, we're very tight. We're, we're locked up. You know, we don't see any un unrestricted shares for a long time. And that's because we're fully aligned on driving this business in the, in the long term. So that's really important. It actually was 70%, but then Victory wow. Square, our, mate, our biggest shareholder, issued a dividend to there to, to broaden our shareholder base. Um, but 
Yeah, I mean, the next step is, is bringing more institutional on board. Uh, we brought on strategic recently with an investment from our, our, our one of our customers, Times Internet, uh, MX Player, who we already spoke about. They've enjoyed that partnership so much that their parent company, Times Internet, has invested in us up to $6 million over the next few years. Uh, and then, and then Polygon Matic, you mentioned, they're two incredible strategic partners uh, that are investing and, and backing us and showing their support around, you know, a small 20 million market cap business. It's so amazing to get the backing of a 20 billion market cap Polygon. Uh, and then next is institutional. We're having a lot of conversations around uh, what that institutional raise looks like, when it's going to happen. It will be next year at some point. We, we're, we're in a very strong cash position right now where we have you know, a year of runway when we're only spending 250 a month Canadian uh, and we don't anticipate spending much more right now. Uh, but that's the next step is, is, a, is an institutional. There's a lot of interest uh, and we'll, we'll be looking to make that happen in the, in the new year sometime. Matt, if there was one thing that you would want investors to know about Game On Entertainment Technologies today, what would that be? Uh, if, if I'm talking to shareholders right now, I, I just want you to, to look at us as, as potentially uncovering, you know, one of those companies that, that are going to make some big strides in, in the next 12 months. We're in deal making mode right now. Our biggest, our biggest you know, hurdle for us right now, but our, a shareholder's biggest advantage is that we're unknown. You know, people don't know who we are. We're just starting to pound that pavement. Uh, and, and spread the word of who we are. So, so when I'm talking to shareholders, I, I just want you to understand that we're early. If you have an appetite for, for a, a small market cap, like 20 million, which is where we're at, now's the time to get on board and really participate in the upside. All I ask from, from new shareholders who are learning about who we are is that you watch us, uh, put us on your watch list, sign up to our updates at gameon.app uh, so that you see our press releases. Everyone who's followed us for the last six months if you read the forums, they say that we're doing what we say we would. You know, we don't overpromise and underdeliver. We're executing. We're getting deals done. We're bringing on strategic partners. And all I ask is that you guys also watch us, sign up for our updates, and give us a chance to show you that we're executing because I'm confident that, that we will do what we're saying. So that's all I can ask from you guys. Matt, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Game On Entertainment Technologies? Just email investors at gameon.app. Uh, our, our investor relations team is, is always onto that. I'm, I'm looking at that as well. So often I'll, I'll respond and connect with investors. My virtual door is always open. So if you have a question specifically for me, just note that and, and I'll make sure I get back to you when you, when you email investors at gameon.app. Uh, to keep up to date with our news, go to, go to gameon.app and you'll be able to sign up for our updates and get those press releases as soon as they're hot off the press. Super excited to watch this company evolve and grow. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is one of the hottest sectors in the world right now that you're in. And I believe this is a company that is very much undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Thank you for joining us today. The founder and CEO of Game On entertainment technologies, Matt Bailey. Thanks, Rich. Looking forward to coming back soon. Yeah, I'd love to invite you back, Matt. Anytime you have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back here on Rich TV Live. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Matt Bailey, the founder and CEO of Game On Entertainment Technologies saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.